I got a question the other day I thought I'd make a video about, and it is in Central Florida, is buying a new home, building a really good deal. Now, I help people buy new homes. People buy and live in new homes all the time. I've got a closing coming up just next week on one. But in the big picture, is buying anything new a really good deal when it's a major purchase? What's a better deal to really get a really quality, upgraded boat that's maybe two years old or to buy a brand new one, to buy a new car? or to buy a really good used one, to buy a new home. Here's the thing, you buy a new home, and you're gonna pay a premium for it. What you're gonna get is a big stucco box. The ceiling fans, the additions, the pool, the quality flooring, the renovations, all of those things are put in afterwards. And after you buy this big home and you live there, two, six, eight, nine, ten months later, it's not a new home anymore. You're buying in a new home community. So you buy a home, you live there. I've seen even eight or nine months later, now you're a resale and they're still building new homes within 150 feet or 200 feet of your home. Um, and so what happens is when you buy a new home, the value dips a little bit for a couple of years and then it'll start to go back up after the neighborhood builds out. So if you buy a regular home, the value won't dip and it'll just keep going up this way. So five years down the road, people say, well, I paid 300 for a home. I'm now five years later, I'm selling it for 360. I did good, yay. But if you could have got a resale for say 275 and sold it for 360, which probably would have been much more likely, you'd actually end up with more money in your pocket. Buying a new home, unfortunately, is not about putting more money in your pocket. It's about spending money. Statistically, people spend, when they buy a new home, about 6% of the value of their new home in cash within the first 18 months of purchasing, according to the National Association of Realtors. There's all kinds of upgrades. A uh, classic one is the pool. Uh, I had a friend put a pool in, a $50,000 pool, into his house. Now, that pool was gorgeous. What's it worth? It probably adds 15, 20, maybe $25,000 to the house. What happened to the other 25,000? It's the hole that you swim in. So if you want a pool, for instance, you buy some with a pool already built, and you're gonna be far, far ahead of buying it and putting it in yourself. You get a house, you want to rehab, everybody wants to do the fix and flip like they see in the TV shows. That is so amazingly expensive for the cost of you having the downtime in the house, hiring and have someone with the contractors, your own personal time, the actual cost of the major renovation, you can easily just take that money, buy up quite a bit, and finance the whole thing. So not only are you gonna put much less cash in, because these renovations are all cash, but you're also gonna have the house more immediately, and you'll be living in a higher neighborhood. To buy a $300,000 house that's all trashed and put 450 into it, uh, you're better to just buy a 450 home in a 450 neighborhood. So do people buy new homes? Of course. Do I buy a new car? Sure, I have a new car. But do, is it a good deal? No. So when people are looking at new versus resale, I most always encourage them to go out and look at the resale homes first. You may have to look a little bit, but it's a much easier process. It's a much quicker process to not build, but to actually get in. Um, in this market with rising interest rates, you say, I'm gonna build a home, and it's maybe four or five months before you can lock in your rates. The rates are higher, you're gonna pay more for the house. Also, when you build a new home, you have to pay a lot of the seller's closing costs. And if the builder says they'll pay your closing costs, but what they do is they say they'll pay 4% of your closing costs and 2.5% of the stuff that any seller would pay anyway. They also make you work with their lender, and their lender isn't as competitive as a lender that say, I could recommend to you. So you'll pay a little more on the rate, which will be with you for the next 30 years as well. So still, people say, I want a new home. Okay, great. We can certainly help you with that, but I certainly would encourage you in Central Florida, in Orlando, to consider a resale home. Maybe in the last couple of years, you'll get a much better value out of it, and you'll probably be much happier with your purchase in the end.